All right, first group of captains up for Beverly High School here at Super Sub. The volleyball captains, Taya Killam and Audrey Knott. What's going on, girls? Just shout it out. How you doing? Good, good. Good, all right. Taya, you got some positions there on your sheet. Uh, libero, right hitter, outside hitter. I, I'm fairly close with that, right? <laughs> so tell us about your role in the team and kind of how things played out for you personally this year. Um, so I started off as a libero, and then due to a few injuries you had in the team, I kind of got switched around because I was pretty versatile. So my coach started me off at the right side, and then I kind of finished the season at outside. Um, like I said, it was kind of good injury, so just, just seeing where I fit best. Yeah, nice. Audrey? So I'm a middle blocker for the team. I'm one of the two, and due to um, injuries, we had to switch a few of the middles too. And basically, I just I, I stay in middle because I'm the tallest on the team. So that's pretty much my job. Yep. Shocking that you're the tallest on the team. That you're taller than me. <laughs> Uh, Taya, you know, talk about the way the season developed, how it finished up, and kind of the things as captains you liked about the team. Um, so it was definitely a different year with um, the freshman on the team. So we had four freshmen on the team for the first time ever. Um, so we, as captains, we both weren't expecting that. But I think we did a really great job of like making the team feel as one, like as a whole, and everyone felt very comfortable with each other. And throughout the season, we had like many ups and downs, but I think we, um, every day we worked well as a team and we like try to persevere as what we can, we fix what we can, and we just let everything kind of like work out as it could. And we had a great coach to go along with that, and she really just kept pushing us throughout the way and made sure we were okay. Awesome. And what's your perspective, Audrey, how the season kind of played out? So as a same as her, it was definitely a challenging season. We, we put four freshmen on the team for the first time ever in the program. We've never wow. had freshmen on the yeah. varsity team. So we definitely had some challenges. That's a big there. chunk of the lineup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we lost nine teams last year. So yeah. having five returners, two of them being getting injured, and having freshmen, it was a whole new team dynamic. So we had to build, like, teach them how to play volleyball because the freshmen have never like really touched a volleyball yeah. before so it was definitely challenging but it was definitely the closest team one of us have ever been on because the connections we built through it was amazing and we just really relied on that because obviously our record w was it didn't like show how much like we came together but it was definitely a super close team and that was like really what we relied on yeah so like so back to Taya like the the captain title was really put into work this year because you had so many youngsters um, especially youngsters that didn't play volleyball before like literally yeah, so, learning the sport on the fly yeah wow. so one thing I think we both wanted to take into this season as a captain was like making sure everyone felt comfortable with one another because last season we had four captains and like the team wasn't really like super close so I think we just wanted to make sure that everyone felt really connected as one and most people when they come into volleyball they've never played before like outside of gym class so we yeah. made sure like we just the main thing was like making sure people were comfortable to like it's okay if you mess up it's okay if you make a mistake because like at the end of the day volleyball is a game of mistakes so that's the only way you can get better is just yeah. throughout the way yeah Unless you have like an ace or a great spike, someone is going to make a mistake yeah. on every play. And that's what we kept reminding of that, <laughs> yeah. like the whole season, like before every game, because people would get in their heads, but we just like it constantly said it's so, like game mistakes. Like everyone, every single person on the court is going to make a mistake. Like you just have to move on from it. Yeah, and there could be like what there's three, five matches possibly yeah. like within the five games within the match, and then you're looking at maybe fifty-ish points each game if it's that tight. Yeah. yeah. So that's a lot of points, a lot of things happening. Yeah. Um, how about those tense matches, uh, Taya? How do you, as a captain, kind of rein everybody in when it's like 23, 24, and it's like time out, we got to go back, regroup? Like, how, what's the message usually in a game like that? Um, I think it's very <laughs> difficult, like, again, with the young players. They've never been in that type of situation before. Whereas, like, last year, I think we were in that situation kind of a lot, so we're used to it. Yeah. So I think the main thing we try to do is, like, when we would regroup in the middle after every point, we would just try to, like, tell them to calm down, settle down. And, like, especially with, like, 
the refs and the coaches are getting into it, like we have to like tell them like focus on us because at the end of the day we're the ones on the court yeah. and we're the only ones who can decide what's going to happen. So I think the main thing was just like regrouping, telling them to settle down, calm down, and just focus on us and what we can control at the end of the day. Yeah, good message. Uh, so Audrey, what's next? Uh, so we got winter, spring. Do you play sports uh, in all three seasons? Yeah, well, or? I lost my one sport, That's it. so I won't be doing anything else. Yeah. Okay. What's uh, ahead for you yeah. academically, uh, maybe athletically later after high school? Um, going to college to study business, but I won't be playing any sports. Okay. Yeah. All right. Focus on academics yeah. only. All right, and finally for Taya, what's what's going on for you in the future? Any other sports for Beverly? Or uh, I'm planning to play softball yeah. in the spring. Um, after that, I plan to go to college to study business, and then after that, I'll be playing sports media. Oh, cool! What could be a like? What's the ideal job from that? Um, I want to do digital media for the NBA. Oh, you have a real specific focus. That's yeah. good. I didn't ask you what's yes. your uh, like your ideal job or role. So my goal is to own my own hair salon. So I'm going to go do business school and then I'm going to go to cosmetology school and then hopefully own my own Combine the both yeah. trades, skills. All right, cool. Best of luck, guys. Thanks for joining so us much. at the North Shore Sports Desk.